Gary Thompson says he made up to six figures a year scamming people in Lexington. Now he's in Glasgow. Good evening, everyone. I'm Gene Burke. And I'm Casey Wheelis. Thanks for joining us. Our Melissa Warren tracked down Thompson, who says he's not panhandling anymore. Hear what he had to say in tonight's top story at 10. When we first heard from multiple viewers that Gary Thompson was in South Central Kentucky, we went to our Facebook page to ask our viewers to help us find him. And today, we went to Glasgow on that search. We heard he was at the Happy Valley Inn, and sure enough, he was. So we asked him if the reports of his begging and pretending to be disabled were true. We sued Honda of America for $2.4 million like years ago, but that money was gone after the market crashed and then I was homeless, my mom has cancer, so then I had to panhandle to have a place to stay and to be able to eat. Now, did you stop panhandling? Um, yes ma'am. Okay, so you say you haven't been doing that since you've been in Glasgow? No ma'am. One hotel manager says that's not the case. I've lost several, a lot of customers because they don't want to come here and be, you know, people bumming from him as soon as they walk out the door. She says he's also threatened to sue her by having a wheelchair accident. Uh, he turns it over right there at that Coke machine. Why do you think he does that? Because he's out to try to sue because, you know, that's how he gets by in life, by suing people. The neighboring grocery store says they've witnessed him begging there. It's been known to be outside in the parking lot begging people for money slash wanting to use their phone. And he's even came in and personally asked me for some free food in the past. And Adwell says he's good at what he does. I called him out by his name and let him know that I was aware of who he was. And he still didn't break character, so he does it fairly well. Even, even if I were to panhandle, I couldn't say it. Because I just couldn't. I say, I'm, I'm the best in the world, though, the best panhandler in the world. And we've had to call the police before on it to have skin to leave. Glasgow police told us there are currently no city ordinances prohibiting panhandling, but they have responded to several complaints saying he was presenting a nuisance. In Glasgow, Melissa Warren, WBKO. Thompson told us he once made 60 to $100,000 a year begging.